The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa tells the story of Carolina Santos, a Brazilian-American wedding planner based in Washington, D.C. Through a vibrant portrait of resilient family ties, professional devotion, and simmering romance, Sosa crafts a heartwarming tale of love, self-discovery, and second chances. The story begins as Carolina, or Lena, is left at the altar. Her would-be husband, Andrew Hartley, is convinced by his brother Max to call off the wedding at the last moment. Ironically, Lena has built a successful career planning perfect weddings for others. Though heartbroken, she channels her energy into her work. Despite her personal setback, Lena is determined to keep her business thriving. Three years after her failed wedding, Lena gets a golden opportunity to pitch her services for a high-profile job that could skyrocket her career. To her dismay, she's forced to collaborate with Max, the same man who advised his brother to abandon her. The job involves a marketing campaign for a luxury hotel chain looking to expand into wedding services. Max, as a marketing expert, must partner with Lena to secure the deal for his firm. Their reluctant partnership starts on shaky ground due to their past. However, as they collaborate, their mutual antagonism transforms. Lena and Max are both ambitious, passionate about their careers, and fiercely protective of their loved ones. Their dynamic shifts as they spend more time together, uncovering each other's vulnerabilities, strengths, and hidden depths. Their initial enmity slowly cools into a simmering attraction. Both Lena and Max contend with the expectations and pressures from their families. Lena is part of a close-knit, supportive Brazilian family. Her mother and aunt are affectionately meddling in her life, while her cousin Natalia is her best friend and confidante. On the other hand, Max struggles under the stern expectations of his mother and the shadow of his high-achieving brother, anxious to prove his worth. Lena, still stinging from the betrayal, fears risking her heart again. Max, often seen as the less serious Hartley brother, yearns to step out from Andrew's shadow and be appreciated for his contributions. As Lena and Max work through their professional engagement, the chemistry between them ignites. They bond over shared experiences and begin to confide in one another, peeling back the layers of their defensive facades. Despite the growing connection, they face a series of hurdles. Max's role in Lena's wedding debacle remains a sensitive issue, and their professional partnership breeds tension as lines blur between business and pleasure. The specter of Andrew's betrayal looms over their relationship, challenging their trust and the possibility of a future together. The romantic journey is fraught with insecurities and hesitations. Lena grapples with her ambition, desire to maintain her professional reputation, and the fear of getting hurt again. Max confronts his career aspirations, feelings of inadequacy, and the daunting task of earning Lena's forgiveness and trust. Complications arise as old misunderstandings resurface, and Lena and Max are forced to examine their intentions and feelings more deeply. Max understands he must make amends for the pain he indirectly caused Lena. Throughout this journey, Max grows more attuned to his emotions, ultimately recognizing the depth of his feelings for Lena. Lena, in turn, learns to navigate her own emotional defenses, opening herself to the possibility of love and vulnerability. Their collaboration on the hotel's marketing campaign puts them in a sequence of romantic and comical situations that force them to confront their past and present feelings. Throughout various exercises designed to evoke genuine emotional responses from wedding clients, Lena and Max must act as a couple in love. These role-playing moments serve as a backdrop for their tentative steps toward a genuine emotional connection. As the project nears completion, the stakes rise. Lena and Max must present their proposal to the hotel executives, a triumph that could set the tone for the rest of their careers. Yet, personal feelings threaten to upend their hard work as emotions run high. Amidst the professional chaos, a confrontation arises between Lena, Max, and Andrew, bringing to light Max's role in the wedding disaster. Lena must decide whether to hold on to past grievances or forgive Max and embrace the potential for a new start. Max, realizing the depth of his mistake, goes to lengths to demonstrate his sincerity and love for Lena. The presentation for the hotel proceeds amidst this emotional turmoil, and despite the external pressure, Lena and Max's genuine rapport shines through. They manage to balance their personal drama with professional efficacy, impressing the hotel executives. 
Ultimately, the love story culminates in a decision about whether personal happiness and ambition can coexist. Lena is forced to choose between safeguarding her hurt feelings and the prospect of a future with Max. In a pivotal moment, she allows herself to let go of the anger and hurt of the past, opening her heart to the possibilities that lie with Max. The novel builds to a heartfelt resolution, where the characters acknowledge their imperfections and reconcile their desires for love with their career aspirations. The journey towards the end of the book highlights the importance of forgiveness, honest communication, and the courage to take risks for the sake of love. In the epilogue, Lena and Max find themselves planning their own wedding, having navigated through and overcome their shared history. Their relationship has matured, with both individuals having grown from their experiences. The Worst Best Man ultimately delivers a message that personal happiness can indeed triumph over setbacks and that love can emerge stronger after confronting and overcoming past wounds. Mia Sosa's narrative celebrates the blend of humor, tenderness, and determination that characterizes the path to true love and professional success. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.